Hello everyone. Welcome to another video in which we will learn that how we can create tables in Word file. In this video, we will see that how we can create table of analysis of variance or ANOVA table in Word file. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe this channel. So first of all, I will create a table in SPSS with a data file. And then we will see that which values of that table will be reported in to according to APS style of ANOVA table. So I'm going to create a table and uh, here I will perform a ANOVA test on a data file. Here I can see that I have compare means and proportions option, option and there I can find one way ANOVA. I will keep my independent variable in factor and uh, my dependent variable in dependent list. So what do I have to do? I am going to mention region here and uh, I'm going to keep my dependent variable here. If you have more than one dependent variable, you can keep all those dependent variable here and you can perform your ANOVA test in one go. There is no need to perform separate ANOVA test for all of your dependent variables. So I'm just keeping these dependent variable for testing and uh, I'm going to click already the, uh, the option of estimate fact size is on. If you are using 27, 28 or 29 version, the option will be appeared here for an over test. But if you are not using um, a, a version of 27, 28 or 29, you can calculate this uh, effect size from some other options. So I'm going to click on the OK button. Here I can see I have ANOVA table and effect size table. So what do I have to do? I'm going to word file. Here I have already created a table for uh, analysis of variance. So what we normally do? we mention the dependent variables here like in our case news avoidance news overload news fatigue is dependent variable or mired mired variable and we have regions as independent variable like you belong from lahore sialkot or peshawar you can mention the regions here in single married divorce and you can get the mean standard deviation values in the start here I can see that I have no mean or standard deviation value so how can I get those value I'm going to reperform this analysis and uh, in the options button I can find the descriptives so I'm going to click on this option and I'm going to rerun this analysis so in this analysis I can see that descriptive table here I can find the mean and standard deviation values i have only two regions lahore and sialkot but if you have more than normally we performed an ova test on on such a independent variable which have two or more than two categories normally we have performed this analysis on three or more categories like uh, if you are single married or divorced or are separated more than three categories three or more than three categories so here i have just only two categories but to show you that how we report i we mentioned the values in the table i have mentioned single married and divorce here our dependent variables we can get mean standard deviation value from descriptive table here from the first one table and where we get we'll get the rest of the values like uh, i will get all of these values from descriptive table and for F and degree of freedom, I have to go for second table, which is ANOVA table. Here you can see the between group and within group values for ANOVA table. And here degree of freedom 1 and 495 is basically the value which is mentioned here. So I can mention this value as 495. 1 is I got here from between groups and 495 there is no need to report total degree of freedom which is 496 and how I can get the this this value in this table the F value actually is this value and uh, I have to report 
this value here if suppose i'm using this table to report so i will take this value and i will mention this value is here as this one so if my result are significant i will mention the steric according to my significance is the if the p value is significant at less than 0 0.05 i will mention one star if it's point it's less it's significant at p less than 0 0.01 like this one p less than 0 0.01 i will mention two star and if p value less than 0 0.001 then i will mention three stars so these sterics depend on the significance value if the p is significant at p less than 0 0.05 then i will mention only one steric so here in this case the value is not significant as p value is greater than 0 0.05 so there is no need to mention any steric here but if i have a significant value i will mention the steric according to the p value what is this sign it's eta square and it's also known as the effect size of anova i will get this anova's effect size in the third table which i can get from point estimate eta squared value is 0 0.001 i will report this value here in the last table so is it okay to report in this way yes it's okay but you have to do something more like you have to merge these two columns as this one you will get this table under the description of this video you can download this and use this table for your own thesis dissertation or a research paper and you have also to merge these two tables okay so sorry you have to merge this one before then you can merge this one so actual this is the standard format to report your ANOVA table in APA style. So how I have made this table from this one, you have to simply go to this option and you will click on the no border option. Then you can simply go to this option and you will select the bottom border and then top border. And then you can select this whole table from this place to this place and then you can you know select the bottom option and it will create this option so i'm going to select this one okay so here i have selected the bottom border option from rest of the values okay so it's clip completed now and uh, I have to select it again. And now I have selected the whole table and it will created a bottom border for all the table. So this is the proper standard format. You will mention the table, table one. And you can bold it and you can see the paper format. I'm going to bold it as per APA. And then the title will be in italic and then you can see that this is the whole table according to APA 7th edition so at the end you will report the p value as per the significance if you have two steric then you will mention comma and uh, you can mention p less than 0 .001, 0 0.01 if you have also a two steric so you have to tell the reader that what does it mean by two steric and three steric so this is the whole procedure to create a one way ANOVA table in word file according to APA I hope you have liked this video do not forget to share this video like this video thank you and bye